There are so many reasons to be excited about the new Joker movie. It's about one of the most popular villains of all time, it stars the very talented Joaquin Phoenix, and it's just in time to ensure everyone and their dog dresses up like the Joker for Halloween. Because that trend never gets old. So why are so many comic book fans determined to not contribute to its box office take? Phoenix's behind-the-scenes rant on Jimmy Kimmel might have been a joke, but some fans believe there are some real genuine issues with the film. Before you buy your ticket, make sure to check out why Joker is considered so controversial. Usually in the lead-up to a film's release, the cast and crew do their best to hype it up and get people excited about heading to the theater. But for some reason, a lot of Joker director Todd Phillips' comments are having the opposite effect. During an interview with Vanity Fair, he blamed woke culture for the decline of the comedy genre. In the past, Phillips has directed comedies like The Hangover movies, but he claims he moved away from those types of films because it's too hard not to offend people anymore. Yeah, because people definitely don't enjoy any envelope-pushing comedy nowadays. That's obviously the reason some of his films haven't managed to make audiences laugh. Needless to say, Phillips' comments didn't go over particularly well with many moviegoers. Even his fellow director Taika Waititi couldn't resist calling him out for blaming the audience by sharing a link to the Vanity Fair article and commenting, LOL, he funny. And we all know Taika Waititi knows a thing or two about making people laugh. What's this 96-year-old lady doing with a guy four times her age? Just saying, if you're the only one laughing at a situation, maybe other people aren't the problem. But maybe you're a person who prides themselves on being able to separate the art from the artist. Regardless of how you feel about Phillips and his personal views on comedy, that doesn't mean Joker isn't worth seeing. When it premiered at the 76th Venice International Film Festival, it won the highest honor possible, the Golden Lion. And to pretty much the surprise of absolutely no one, critics have praised Joaquin Phoenix's portrayal of Arthur Fleck and the movie in general. But there are still people who have serious issues with the film, and not because of its R rating. And this isn't just the case of a few individuals who are offended by the content of the film or the fact that way too many people view the Joker as a hero instead of a villain. Movie theaters are banning costumes and implementing additional security measures in anticipation of the movie's release. AMC Theaters, the largest movie theater chain in the entire country, has forbidden patrons from painting their faces, wearing masks, or doing anything to conceal their faces. And they're far from the only theaters to do so. Usually, movie theater security is worried about people sneaking into showings, but not this time. Police officers are being posted at theaters, and even the U.S. military has advised service members to be on their guard. But why? But why? Sure, the Joker's a bad guy and the movie has adult themes, but so do tons of other movies, none of which elicit this kind of reaction. This controversy has less to do with what Arthur Fleck does and more of who he is as a person. Many feel the film paints him as a sympathetic person who gets the short end of the stick in life. As a result, he turns to committing criminal acts and finds that he enjoys being a villain more than he liked being an actual non-criminal clown. Critics of the film worry that fans will see too much of themselves in Arthur Fleck. Instead of viewing him as a mentally unstable man who does terrible things, they'll see him as someone worth emulating in the real world. Of course, we all know Joker is just a movie, and Arthur Fleck isn't a real person. And even if he was, he would pretty much be the furthest possible thing from a good role model. But the issue is that some small minority of fans might not see it that way, and could put the average moviegoer at risk. Both director Todd Phillips and star Joaquin Phoenix have naturally spoken up in defense of the movie. Phillips says he believes people can handle the message of the film and see it as a form of artistic expression. He points out that when he saw John Wick 3, a movie starring Keanu Reeves as an assassin, there was no such controversy, even though he takes down a simply staggering amount of enemies over the course of that film. Is the criticism of Joker a double standard when audiences cheer on Keanu Reeves taking people out on horseback? Or is context important here when comparing the two films? After all, a theme in the John Wick series is that the main character is trying to retire from that life and live in peace. Phoenix reiterated that it's just a movie and that the majority of people know the difference between right and wrong. He also believes that teaching people basic morality isn't the job of movie makers. And he's definitely not wrong about that. It really comes down to whether you believe Joker is presenting a villain or glamorizing him, and there are arguments on both sides of the issue. Hey, that's what makes it a controversy. And as they say, all publicity is good publicity. And it does kind of seem like the people behind the movie are just thriving off of this kind of press. 
Joaquin Phoenix even went on Jimmy Kimmel Live and pretended to be stunned when the host unveiled a video of him cursing out a crew member behind the scenes of Joker. Of course, the whole thing was a hoax and was played off as a joke, but it definitely got a lot of people talking. There's no denying that the character Joker has some toxic fans out there, but that's true of pretty much every franchise in existence. How many Rick and Morty fans cringe when they hear someone scream, I'm Pickle Rick, in real life? What beloved dog dog? I'm Pickle Rick! And let's not forget the Star Wars fans who tormented actress Kelly Marie Tran because they didn't like her character. Does the fact that some fans might view Joker the wrong way mean it was irresponsible to make it? Or is something more even-keeled fans shouldn't miss out on? What do you think about all the behind-the-scenes drama concerning the Joker movie? Do you still plan on seeing it, or are you giving this fleck a pass? Let us know what you think in the comments section below, and then click on that subscribe button for more videos from us here at CBR. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.